we are only going to be eating food cooked in an air fryer. I feel like we're being so naughty right now. <laughs> I will not be using my oven ever again. Is worth living. What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. From a home here in London. We hope everybody's doing fantastic. We have a great video for you today. Now, you guys are always asking us for fun and easy meal ideas. And we've got loads of them for you today. Because for the next 24 hours, we are only going to be eating food that has been cooked in an air fryer. So we went out this morning to the supermarket to get lots of fun food to not only cook in just one air fryer, but two air fryers. So we got these about a week ago, guys, from a brand called Kasori, and we have not stopped using them since. Katie in particular is very, very excited. I can see her behind the camera how excited she is. Yeah, I have actually been so excited to do this challenge. I've found so many fun recipes to do that are really easy. They're your favorite thing to use, aren't they? They're your new best friend in the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> well, let's start off then with a nice, fun breakfast. Okay, so I really want to do a two-part breakfast. See how excited I am, can't you? You clapped your hands. I hear that you can make granola in an air fryer. So we're going to make granola and we're going to make some special breakfast toasties as well, which I'm really excited about. So I think I should do the granola in the turbo glaze because yeah. it has a huge thing. Do you think, Bob? That is huge. Yes, it's like six liters. That This is what I like most about the Turbo Blaze is it has a six liter basket. You'll get a lot of granola in there. I know. And granola is one of those things as well. You can make a big batch of it and then have it through the week. So I'm going to do the breakfast toasties in the dual basket air fryer because we can do them both at the same time. Yeah, sink cooking, baby. I'm gonna do the granola first, guys. I actually just noticed that there is a granola recipe in this recipe book, which we got with the Turbo Blaze. Normally, with granola, you can vary the amounts of things a little bit to, to suit your taste. Is that what you're doing then? Well, I'm gonna go with one cup of oats, which is what it says in the recipe book. And what else are we adding? Well, this is what I'm saying. The other ingredients, you can vary a little bit. I mean, it's mostly nuts, maybe dried fruit. I'm going to put a pack of chopped almonds. Thank you, Rogers. So really, you can put in whatever kind of nuts you choose in this. It's not specific nuts, is it? Exactly. I'm going to put some Brazils and some cashews in there. Just chopping these nuts up, and I realised I had some hazelnuts as well, so I've thrown those in. In they go. So what else do we have to add now? Oil and maple syrup. I am going to go by the recipe because... That is quite yeah. important when yeah. it comes to ratios because it's got to bind it and it's taste as well. Exactly. So you've got a quarter cup. Olive oil. You can use coconut oil though. And the same for the maple syrup, quarter cup as well. Mm -hmm. Do you just basically mix up with a spoon now? Yeah, I might put some shredded coconut in there as well. Oh, it did actually say in the recipe, cinnamon. Should we throw some cinnamon Ooh, in there? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And nutmeg. To be honest, this is quite an easy thing to put together, isn't it? Yeah. Considering the size of the basket in here, we could have done loads more, couldn't we? But we are doing a two-part breakfast. I'm going to preheat this first because it does suggest that in the book. Look at you following recipes. I know. In goes the granola. Just put it straight in there. That's a really good amount. Yeah, and I'm going to shake it halfway through as well. Okay, I'm going to put it on bake for seven minutes. Yeah, even though this is an air fryer, you've actually got nine different functions. So you can do bake, you can even proof bread, lots of options. Let's do this. So while that's on, should we get the toasties going? Yeah, you can do the toasties. These are going to be some good toasties, Katie. Yeah, they say to butter them on the outside. So what I would thought was the inside will now be the outside. You've actually got these crisper plates that come with both of the air fries as well, which you can sit things on top of. So with the dual basket one, there's actually six different cooking functions. I'm just going to go for air fry with these two. So sink, cook is on, so they're both on for four minutes. And off we go. 
The good thing is as well, with the dual basket air fryer, you have the viewing window so you can watch the whole thing cook. We put racks on the top of the sandwiches so the top layer didn't fly off. And these are racks that actually come with the air fryer as well. Right, the granola's done. Look at that, guys. That's looking well nice. What do you want to serve it up with? Um, we've got some Alpro yogurt and blueberries. And raspberries. Have we? Yeah. Raspberries? Okay. Yummy! Air fryer granola. And it's still warm. It's not very often you get to eat warm granola, is it? It's not, you're right. Now it's come out really nice. It's a really good money saving hack because you can make a big batch of this for just a fraction of the price that you'd pay for a decent one in the supermarket. We've made it before and had it for weeks, haven't we? I will not be using my oven ever again to make granola. Especially when it's that quick. What was mm. that, including prep, 10, 15 minutes? How are those toasties looking? Oh. They're looking toasty-ish. Oh, wow. These are so crispy. Oh, we're going for triangles, are we? I think so, yeah. You're right, that's proper crispy. Oh, that's looking, look at that, guys. Look how melty it's gone on the inside. Crispy, isn't it? Mmm, I love a toasty. The air fryer did good with this. Everything's come together. I feel like we're being so naughty right now. Jojo's at super camps, he's missing out. These are so good. I feel like I will never make toasties any other way. True. Mm. This is probably the best toasties we've ever made at home. Okay guys, I really wanted to show you this. It's gonna be a mid-morning snack and I made these yesterday and it was the tastiest snack ever. And healthy as well. So I just wanna show you this. It was so easy. They're actually crispy chickpeas and I will show you how I made them. You have to give the chickpeas a good clean. See how good we are? We clean as we go. That's the thing about having a small kitchen. You have to clean as you go. Yeah, give them a good clean. Put them in the bowl. Two teaspoons of olive oil, or I think you can use any oil really. And then seasonings of your choice. Basically salt, pepper, and anything else you want to throw on there. I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and some smoked paprika. Mix it round. Let's put them in there. I'm gonna put them on for 10 minutes and then give them a shake. I love how quiet this one is as well. I know, it is quite quiet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. Mmm. You're right, this is a nice mid-morning snack. Crunchy, aren't they? Mmm. I feel like these are a healthier version of if you wanted a snack like crisps or something. What are you doing now, Bob? I am going to be doing some pizza rolls. So I'm cutting off the crusts of some slices of bread. Don't worry about these free game, we will be using those for something special later. And I'm gonna roll out this bread just to make it a bit thinner and flatter. Pizza sauce? Yeah, that's right. And got some pepperoni. So I'm gonna put one of those right in the middle. And then, this is the moment of truth, is we roll it into a nice bread roll like that. Now what's really handy with our dual basket air fryer is it come with these accessories, like little trays. So then you can sit things that you make, like these bread rolls, in it like that. Pretty handy, eh? Mm. So, there we go. Got four on there. So they just sit in there very nicely. Going to do these for about five minutes. The pizza rolls are done. Mm. <laughs> these look naughty. Wow. Listen, listen. It's talking to me. It's crispy. You know what I think? What do you think? These might be even better than the toasties. Oh, I don't know. So this is the bigger version. Yes, we're going to be using a tortilla. So as before, I'm going to put loads of the pizza sauce down the middle. Load of cheese in there. You just sprinkled some onion in there. I'm going to add some tomatoes. Then to finish this off, we've got some VFC chicken tenders in there. And I've part cooked them in here already. So I'm just going to add these into here. How's the jumbo version looking? Wow. wow. <laughs> it's, we probably could have done it in less time. That's what I love about these is how much less electricity they use. It's just crazy, eight minutes and that's very well done. Cut it into it. That's well crispy as well. That's looking nice. So wow. nice. It's so nice to have a day of eating loads of fun foods, isn't oh, it? Oh wow, yeah. All of this food is so fun and so easy to make. Sometimes when you're in a kitchen for so long just to make one thing. I know. And we've made loads in such little time. Yeah. 
Mmm. <laughs> Beans and rice burrito. That could have some rice in there would have been mm. good, yeah. And then uh, this is pretty banging. Which one do you prefer, the small one or the big one? Are you right there? <laughs> this is really hot. I like them both. Okay guys, seeing as we're making lots of fun food today, I'm going to show you something that I used to do with the big kids when they were little. I've literally been doing this for over 20 years. If you pull out cornflakes, pour them in a bowl with some milk, everyone's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. This is one of the tastiest fun snacks to make with your kids. Or just, if you haven't got kids, just make it for yourself. Put some cornflakes in there. I'm just going to crunch these up a little bit more. The only things you need for this is tofu, mayonnaise and cornflakes. I'm going to cut them up into fingers. So you mean like quite thick strips? Yeah. Put the mayo on this plate. And then this is really easy, okay? You just put the tofu there, you just coat it in the mayo, and then you coat it in the cereal. And onto the plate. So you're going to do the same with all of these. Oh. So they're all ready to go. They look very pretty. Which one are you going to do them in? I think the Turbo Blaze because it's bigger. I feel like it's faster as well. As you look this up, it says it has a DC motor, whereas a lot of other air fryers have an AC motor, and it makes it like 46% faster. Ooh. Yeah, it saves even more energy as well then. That's what I like. I just really like how much energy they save. What have you just put? Oh, you put the crisper plate in. Yeah. You're going to sit them across that. Right, in they go. How long are you going to do it for? I think eight minutes. I'm really excited about this because it brings back memories. Oh, look, you hear them. Hear that sizzle. That's some serious sizzleage. This is, I would say, one of the easiest things anyone can make. These are looking really good. I love that it's all held together really well. Mm. These look very nice. Who would have thought of putting something like mayo, cornflakes and tofu together? I thought of it. <laughs> okay, that's who. <laughs> Might be a bit hot. They look hot. They are. Made the tofu go really tender. Mmm. Hasn't it? I actually read that though. That is the thing that the Turbo Blaze does. Oh, really? It can make things more tender, yeah. Oh. Don't worry, Jojo's not missing out. We're actually going to go and pick him up in a bit. Should we take some with us? Yeah, he'll we'll enjoy that. Oh, he's going to love these. And he's going to love what we're going to do for dinner as well. We've got something big planned, haven't we? Mmm. We just picked Jojo up, guys, and the smell coming back in here was amazing it's like it? a merge of everything that's been cooked so far however yeah. there's been a bit of a fierce debate between the two of us about what we are having for dinner oh can i just say jojo loved the cornflake what are they called what are they you called? made them i don't know I've, I've been making them for years but they've not called anything tofu cornflake nug nugs there we go that's the name so yeah we were having a fierce debate i said i wanted to have loaded chips for dinner katie says she wants to have loaded nachos but we came to a genius solution we're gonna do both of them right okay i've just got getting my stuff ready i'm gonna use these lovely nachos that we got from rogers and i've got some refried beans and some mediterranean vegetables and salsa of course and cheese oh and for the loaded chips bob's got chips we're using the pre-cut ones because this is all about convenience today. Instead of using ground beef, we always used ground mushrooms. And you're going to use beans in there as well. Proper. And you're going to put cheese on top as well. Yeah. Okay. I think I might do the roasted vegetables separately though. And then we'll just put them on afterwards. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, the good thing with the dual basket one, you can do things for different temperatures, different times and have them finish at the same time. Yeah. You're going to do the chips in yeah. this one. I'm going to need more space. remember we've got to pre-cook the chips well part cook them pre-cook i said didn't i yeah part cook them they're all going in that's a lot of chips i like this button on here that locks the handle you can't just pull it open i was thinking the same thing earlier i thought yeah. it'd be great for anyone with kids i think that's what it's designed for oh. like if you've got little kids you might be able to reach it just to stop them opening it by accident. yeah so i'm just going to do these for 10 minutes to part cook them yes that's enough pot cooking, I'd say. Mm. 
I am really excited how both of these are going to turn out. I mean, wait until you have dessert afterwards. Really? It's going to be an air fried dessert, eh? Yeah. Which one of these would you say is your favourite? Have you got a favourite? I love them both, yeah. They're both really good. They're both good in different ways. Yeah, I feel like the Turbo Blaze, having a big capacity, is probably better for smaller families, but this is good as well because you have the variety of two baskets so you can do different things at once. If you check out the description, guys, we'll put links in there for both of the air fries so you can see which one might be best suited to you. And the Turbo Blaze at the moment has a very, very special price. The moments of truth. How are we looking? Oh! Wow, look at those. I know, those look really nice as well. I swear, the amount of variety of stuff that we're cooking today. What about my loaded chips? Let's have a look. Whoa! Wow. Look, look how deep this is and how full up it is. There's so much. This is going to be a good dinner. Wow, this is well heavy. <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's like a loaded chips pie. Can I try some? I want a bit of everything. Yeah, you want a bit of everything. The you just pulled a chip right out of the middle there. Careful, it's going to be hot. I can see the heat coming off that. Very hot. <laughs> when Katie's eyes go in the middle of the taste, hitting her. I just love how many fun things we've made today. Mm. Do you want to test this one, Baba? Oh, let's put some sauce on. You have to have guacamole, but we have this instead. Avocado and lime sauce, Rogers? Yeah. No, Heron, Heron Foods. Look at that. You always want to know what we do with the food that we get from these shopping challenges. You're seeing it popping up. Oh, ketchup as well. Oh, look at that. It looks amazing. Let me in. Right. I don't even think I need a fork. You don't need a fork. Mmm. <laughs> it's not the like cleanest thing to eat, is it? Can I try some of this? The refried beans in there, man. So good. I love it just pulls all the flavours together like that. Just makes everything crispy. That's what I like about it. Crispy is your thing, isn't it? When it comes to food. My favourite word. Right, should we get all of this and the veg and everything and some greens and that all served up for dinner? Mm. Jojo's probably hungry now. It's not easy to get it out there. I know. <laughs> I know some people use the liners. They're like uh, paper liners. but um, Oh, that's a good idea to transfer it, yeah. I'm sure Jojo's going to appreciate it. He's going to love that, yes. Yeah, it looks a bit messy, but it tastes very good. So we are onto your dessert. I see you're getting very cosy in a dressing gown as that's well. That's what I do when I get cold. I got a bit cold, so I put the dressing gown over my clothes. I just do that sometimes. Yeah, so we're going to use the leftover bread from earlier for our dessert as we're making bread and butter pudding. I have some extra bread here as well. Bread and butter pudding in an air fryer. I don't know if it's doable. You don't? No, I'm just, okay. this is a test. But I made it the other day with Easter. Do you remember? I made it with hot cross buns. Yeah. Yeah, and it was really nice as well. Um, but I'm going to make it in a really simple way this time, as simply as we can possibly do it. I'm not going to try and butter those bits because I think it's going to be difficult. You just butter the full slices and then you slice them up. Yeah. I'll just, I think I'll just slice them all up how those ones are. So once you cut them up into strips, you just... I'm just going to just layer them out. Some people cut the bread into triangles when they make it. Okay, but you're just doing it into strips and you lay them all out. Yeah, some sultanas that I had left from the other one I did. I'm going to use this custard for convenience. I normally make my own, but this will make things a bit easier. This is all about convenience after all. And then I've got some nutmeg. I always do it with a fork because it sprinkles better. This literally makes this taste like custard tart. And I haven't had a custard tart in over 10 years. A little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon and nutmeg always go together for some reason. Yeah. And is that it? Yep, yeah, that's it. That's well easy prep. And I don't know how long to do it for, so I'm just going to go for about eight minutes and then check it. I'm looking forward to this coming out. Moment of truth. This smells amazing. Wow, that oh. looks pretty good as well, right? Yeah, it looks great. That's crazy. I swear that's like a third of the time you would do it in the oven. I know, I know. 15 minutes, bang. It's so simple, but yet so yummy. Bob's gonna try this because I cannot eat another thing today. I said this to you earlier, I cannot eat another thing. She's gone pretty far, <laughs> filled up on air fried goodness. No, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna have some tomorrow. Mmm, the crusts of the bread are going all crispy. Crispy, that's what you wanted. <laughs> that's well nice. Mm. Is it? I'm gonna make a cup of tea and have more. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Is it as good as the... I think it's better. What, than the hot cross bun one? Yeah. 
Oh wow. Okay. That's that's the best one, yeah. Because it's crispy, yeah, the bread's gone crispy. Like I said, guys, check out the description for the links for both of these amazing air fries. And if you've enjoyed seeing us making a fun food video like this, then go and watch this one next up in the corner because you're gonna love it. Before you do go and watch that though, guys, make sure you always stay free and just keep rising. <laughs>